In my last video, I talked about cleaning your hockey gear. Today, I'm going to talk about where to store it, how to organize it, and deciding what to keep and what not to keep. So, at the beginning and end of every season, that's a good time to go through all your gear and check it all out. Um, first thing you want to do, this is a hockey gear, this is a baseball bag. First, you're going to go to your closet or wherever you keep your stuff. Now, when you decide where you're going to keep your stuff, you should pick, pick a large enough space for all your things that's dry, that everything's not going to get ruined while it's in there. Okay, so this is a ski bag. So, pull all your stuff out and open it all up and check it all out. Okay, now... At the end of the year, after you've cleaned everything, you know, you still want to go through it and make sure everything fits, okay? So if you can use it again, you're going to want to check the straps, okay? The straps should be at attached. Uh, sometimes they'll go through the season and they'll just have hockey tape wrapped around their pads trying to keep them on, okay? Like this one, I don't know if that's going to make it another season, okay? So we're going to set that aside. We're going to decide what to do with that. Okay, now gloves. Check. You know, it looks good from this side, but look at it. There's a big hole there. And when, you, when they're handed in it, this bare skin, okay? So that's probably going to be replaced, okay? I don't, you know, the other hand is the same way. No, not really, but by two, okay? Um... You know, obviously, if something doesn't fit, you're going to have to replace it. But say you have another kid that's younger, and it they might grow into it. You want to keep it around. Okay. If it's good enough, if it's in good enough shape, make sure it's clean. If they're not going to be wearing it for a couple of years. Um, look at, there's a hole there. Um, sometimes you can sew things. I've sewn things. And that'll help. That'll help make your things last. We all know how much hockey stuff costs. So we want to make sure we get good use out of it. Okay? Um, I have another pair of pants in here. No hmm. oh, well. Okay, so you probably don't even realize how much stuff you have. So it's a good time to go through it all. And, okay, hockey bags also get worn out. At one time I had an old hockey bag. And we were all the parents were at a uh, ice rink, and one early morning with our coffee cups, and I asked the group, "What do you do with an old hockey bag?" And one of the dads, Bill Coplow, said, "Divorce her and marry a younger one." <laughs> so funny. So anyway, I ended up throwing that bag out because it was just so much, so full of holes. Okay, helmets. I always check their helmets to make sure that they still fit and that they have all the straps, okay, and the and also the um, snaps on the straps on both sides, okay. So if the strap is missing, sometimes you can just replace a strap. Make sure that it has all the things inside that it needs, the chin, the cage, the cage, you know, the screws, you might want to tighten those up. Just make sure it fits, okay, because the helmet is I think everyone would agree the most important piece of safety equipment that your kid is going to wear. Passing down helmets, if you want to hand me down a helmet, just make sure that it does fit correctly. You know, you just, you want to invest in that one piece of equipment. I mean, if you have to spend a lot of money on one thing, that is a thing to replace, okay? You, are, you really want to protect their head. Concussions become increasingly problematic. All right, skates. If your blade is worn down that much, there's hardly this skate has been sharpened so many times. There's really no blade left there. It's actually almost down to the plastic part here. Okay, so even if it still fits, at the very least you want to replace the blade. Okay, you can have the blade replaced. Uh, your hockey shop, they'll do that. Um, but this gate really should be replaced. Okay. Also, you want to check and make sure the laces are not worn out. 
um, you know, keep extra laces in the bag because if they break, you know, you just have an extra pair there. Hold it like this. If it flops down, you definitely want to get rid of it, okay? Um, skates, you can pass them down from kid to kid, but the in inside of the skate gets very full of moisture, very sweaty. Um, there could be a lot of bacteria in there, and also each person's foot is shaped differently. Even kids in the same family have different shaped feet. If they're the moldable skates, you know, you, and they haven't been worn a lot, you could remold them to another person. Um, but skates should be very good fitting, okay? So you don't want their feet to be flopping around inside. They should be fitting, I mean, they should fit correctly. Helmets are the most important thing for safety. I think skates are the most important thing for performance. So that is another investment that you're going to have to make. Um, if you have kids that are uh, farther apart in age, their feet grow very rapidly. Okay, so for example, I saved a pair of skates from my oldest kid. I think it was like a size 5, okay, thinking that my younger kid could wear them because they, he didn't wear them more than one season, maybe even half the season, they were still good. Well, by the time the second kid came around, his feet grew too fast, he went straight from like a, a three to a seven. He completely bypassed that size that I'd been saving all those years. And when I looked at the skate, I thought, why did I save this? It's, you know, it's not worth saving. So check the blade, okay, and if, if it's in good condition, you decide. Okay, what do you do with old things that you don't want anymore and that you decide you can't use anymore? You can donate them. I've donated a lot of things to the rescue mission if they're in good shape, if they're not a dangerous, you know, they're not dangerous. Um, and if they're in good quality, you can resell them. They, we have a store, you might check in your area, we have a store, Play It Against Sports. I've sold a lot of things to Play It Against Sports. They will look at it and decide if it's worth selling, if it's in good enough shape. I don't know why this tape is on here. It doesn't look like it's broken, but that's another thing you're going to want to check, another helmet. Um, and you can recoup some of your money by reselling it. And they won't take anything that's not in good condition, but let them decide. You know, if you think, oh, it's not, I'm not really sure if this is good, just take it there. Don't be embarrassed if they don't take it. You know, you didn't lose anything by asking. Um, and if it's really bad, like maybe those hockey gloves, you just throw them out. You'll save space. You'll save time. Um, as far as hockey sticks go, a good way to store them is in a tall laundry basket like this. Like this one, okay? So you can store all your hockey hockey sticks in. <laughs> Look at these even go back to toddlerhood. <laughs> we can't get rid of that. Even though look at it, it's broken, but we still have to keep it. It's cute. And a lot of people say their blades, I don't know why some of these are in here. This one it's clearly it can't be used again, but find a box. It's a good thing to a good idea to ask your kid before you throw anything out because, you know, even if it looks like it's really bad, they might want to keep it. Uh, hockey socks. If you can use them again, you can always use them for practices. This one has, you know, it's got a run in it, holes or whatever. But it's always good for practice. Keep a few around. There's more helmets in here. Um, more gloves. Things. So, uh, anyway, that, this is the first helmet my oldest son ever had. And I tell you, when we bought this, it was a lot of money, but I tell you, it was well worth it. <laughs> we thought, he better like this sport. We spent a lot of money on that helmet. And as far as old, when you're storing skates, you really keep keep the soakers on them, these these uh, things, so that the blades don't get all rusty, like that. And 
You know what? I'll go through the rest of this after.